worry about the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, the CFR. The CFR is a policy tool commissioned by the Council of Europe mainly in order to promulgate multilingualism and mobility in Europe. The CFR mainly is aimed at practitioners in the field of language learning, teaching and assessment and the CFR wants to promulgate discussions amongst practitioners in order to reflect their teaching, in order to reflect their learners' needs and the CFR takes an action-oriented approach towards language learning and teaching and it places the learner at the heart of language learning. Here we are at the home page of the Council of Europe where the CFR is located, so to speak. This is where you find all information around the CFR, its history, the six levels of foreign language proficiency which are at the heart of the CFR, and you also find the full text. You find a PDF which you can download for free, print out, browse at your leisure. Here we go. This is the Common European Framework. A multi-page document with loads of chapters where you can see the background. In this document you can find a lot of information besides the six language levels. It starts off with chapter one. It's political educational context, it goes on to the approach adopted, it describes the common six reference levels and then chapter four and five go into the language use and the users learners competences. This is where you find the scales, the scale system which describes learner proficiency at six levels. But there's more to the document. You find in chapter six thoughts on language learning and teaching. You find in chapter seven the role of tasks in language learning. You can look at the curriculum in chapter eight and chapter nine concludes with thoughts on assessment. Well, in this video I've taken you to the homepage of the Council of Europe where the Common European Framework lives, where you can find the PDF to download and where you find all the surrounding information. Now you may wonder, how do I get into this document? How do I get started? In the next video I'll take you to a page which provides useful information on familiarisation activities to help you get into the Common European Framework, the meaning of its scales, the usage of its scales and how you can apply them to your teaching and your learners' learning.